Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video we have a brand new update for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and the Tab S7 that brings a whole bunch of new features to this tablet. So let's dive in and get started right away. So let's go to the settings real quick. So I'm going to tap on settings and you'll notice it says on the top a software update is now available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down. I can tap these buttons here as well, but I'm going to go all the way down anyway. Tap on the software update. And I'm going to tap on download and install okay and as you can see we have a couple new things happening here with this new update uh, first and foremost on the top portion it says we have blue light filter update so a new feature has been added right there we're going to talk about that and I do want to let you know there's actually many more features added than just this one that you're looking at for some reason the United States unlocked version does not have all the features listed in the under the what's new section but don't worry i will show you all of it. we have some stability of functions in the tablet and we have the security of our device that has also been improved and one of the big things is if at the bottom if you look at the bottom uh this is in fact a large update okay so this is 894.63 megabytes and it does have the latest security patch for april the 1st so it is quite important. So let's quickly install this update. I'm gonna be right back, show you what is new and what has changed. All right. All right, so first and foremost, the tab is gonna feel much smoother at, after this update, which is uh, expected with such a large update. But let's look at the actual new features that were added into the tablet. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is if you go into your settings, and if you go into your advanced features under settings, what you are going to now see is something known as the video call effect. So when I tap on this guy right here, uh, you are able to add video background effects while you are in video calls, depending on which application you're using. Now, it is going to show you what apps are available for that. So right now, I have the Duo installed here. So when I'm doing a video call using Google Duo, I can literally add these effects to the background. I can add blur effects, color effects, or I can even add an image in the background. Just as an example, let's just do the color, okay? So I'm gonna tap on preview, and if I were to put my hand here, so let's see if it recognizes that, okay? It's gonna be a little bit hard because it has to be a face, uh, but basically your face is gonna pop right here, and you're gonna have this color in the background, okay? That's how simple that is. Or you can have a blur effect in the background, so if I do this, you can see it's all blurred up, but when you put your face in there, okay, the face is gonna be in focus, heart, there you go. So you can see my hand is in focus, but the background is gonna be in blur. Just think of your face and the background blurred out. So those are the video call effects when you're doing actual video call. All right, so one more feature here that was listed under what's new. If I go to my settings, if I go to my display, and if I go into the eye comfort shield, uh, now I have the ability to set a schedule okay so as you can see we have that added just recently uh, again if i go back to this option here under settings let me see software update last update settings for the following have been added turn on a schedule for the blue light filter we do have enhancements to our multi window experience so if i were to go here for example if i start my uh, split screen multi window over here Okay, what's gonna happen is the whole thing is simply gonna be even more smoother now. So that's been enhanced as well. Uh, the other new feature is if you go into your camera, okay, and then if you go into, here's the main camera, if I go to more, and if I go into the uh, portray option, all right, which you are gonna see at the side over here, if you tap on this one, you now have uh, the high key and the low key mono effect, as you can see. Uh, these were already here, the backdrop and the color point, but now you got the low key and the high key. Again, you have to position your face in the circle uh, for the camera that you're using, and you can apply these effects uh, for selfie shots. And then finally, if you go into your settings, okay, and if you, you go to advanced features, and if you go to Samsung Dex, let me just enable this. I'm going to show you what has changed with this one. So I'm going to tap on this guy. It's going to launch the Samsung Dex uh, functionality. And once you launch that, what you can now do is you have the capability to record, to screen record Samsung Dex as well. So what I do is I tap on the options here, okay? 
and then let me just swipe over let's see where that is that option and here it is the screen recorder has now been added to the Samsung DeX functionality so if I'm doing something on Samsung DeX okay I can in fact start recording uh, on the Samsung DeX interface as you can see once you're done you tap on stop that goes into the gallery if I go to my gallery uh, here's the video that I just in fact recorded okay so that's fantastic if you do have any questions comments or concerns let me know those are basically all the updates with a few other things that I couldn't find uh, but they are there somewhere mostly enhancement bug fixes performance increase okay again the update is quite large so a lot of things have happened with this new update simply make sure Samsung Tab S7 a better product